Welcome to Old Guy Gaming Network and today I'm going to review a piece of software called Big Screen uh, for virtual reality devices and in my case the Oculus Quest 2. Now um, if a lot of you are on you know sort of on the fence were like yeah you know you thought VR would be kind of neat but you're not really don't think you'd be into playing VR games. Uh, big Screen is a very compelling reason uh, to think about getting a virtual reality device. Now, what big screen is, is it's just a way to consume your content, you know, your personal video collections, uh, things like Netflix, Hulu, Comcast, in a virtual reality environment. Now, in this case, uh, my favorite one in big screen is called the Grand Old Theater. Or grand theater it's basically a you know an old classic movie theater now I know that it does the perspective doesn't come through on a standard video but from my perspective within the headset I am sitting in a movie theater uh, it is massive it is huge the screen is the size of a movie screen so it really makes uh, you know, watching movies and TV and things like that, a whole new experience level. So I start off with a little Rocky Three here from my own personal movie collection. Now it's been said, yes, you know, some movies just are better on the big screen, and I firmly believe that. Uh, you know, like Titanic would be one. You know, I remember you know watching Titanic on a regular TV. You know, is one thing, but when you when I saw it in the big screen on that massive theater, you know, theater screen, that the size of the ship itself translated very well. You're like, you know, just wow, that thing's freaking huge. But you know, I have a, you know, I've got a 72 inch 4K TV out in the living room and the, the movie experience, even on that is nothing compared to what you experience with big screen. It, you know, it literally feels like you're sitting in a theater. Now, one of the cool things about big screen is you can host rooms. Like you can see last week, I was hosting Penn State and Michigan State. But, you know, you have different categories of whatever you want to host. Um, you can have it private, meaning invite only. You can invite your friends to view with you. You can have it as a publicly listed room or only you where there's no streaming involved whatsoever. Now, depending on how you set up your big screen... You can have between 4 and 12 people join you at a time. And uh, their avatars will be like in the different seats. And, uh, you know, you can move around the theater to find a seat where, you, you know, it works best for you. Um, and then, you know, you can sit there and, and talk. Uh, you know, I was streaming uh, the Saints-Cowboys game last night. And, you know, I had 12 people in the room. We were all, you know sitting there talking and enjoying the game commenting on the game you know booing the cowboys booing the saints booing each other it was actually a lot of fun i've actually met some nice people you know through big screen and you know added them to my friends list and you know we've kind of hung out and watched movies and other things you know and the you know with the the whole pandemic thing and people not getting out as much as they used to um you know it it's you know kind of cool kind of helps you know break up the loneliness and the monotony you get to socialize a little more but uh, i tell you what watching football on a movie size screen is absolutely amazing
Now, big screen, uh, not only can you watch like your own personal content on it, but you can stream, you know, like I'm streaming, you know, uh, my Xfinity, you know, stream off here. You know, you can do Netflix, you can do Hulu, Amazon Prime, pretty much any TV service, okay? But there's a catch. You have to have a browser that has no digital rights management. Um, what DRM is, is it basically sends a signal, and if a browser supports <clears throat> DRM, it will not pass through the video signal to like a VR device like this. So you would just get a, you know, a absolute black screen. So I personally use the Firefox browser. Um, it allows me to, uh, you know, it has no DRM. So I can, I can basically consume my content. You know, I subscribe to Netflix, uh, you know, Hulu and Prime. So I should be able to consume my content you know, with my choice. So using the Firefox browser, uh, I am able to do that. And like I said, I can invite some friends in and watch some TV virtually. Uh, it is a lot of fun. Now, before I forget, please, uh, please, you know, give a like to the video, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Uh, I love to hear from people. Now, um, Back to big screen. Now, one of the neat things about big screen is environments. I like the grand cinema. That's just my personal preference. But they have all kinds of neat ones. Like this is a drive-in theater. Um, you know, it's like a 1950 drive-in theater. The sky, wow, the sky is absolutely beautiful in here. And so you're like sitting in cars. The screen. I don't think the screen's as big, but yeah, it's the Meadow Drive-in Theater. A lot of fun. You know, here I did a, it's a luxury home theater. It had, you know, like, you know, virtual big, you know, huge, big leather, you know, high back chairs. You know, hey, you could pretend you're rich for a little bit. Just having trouble getting the light, you know, turn the lights up so you can see, but, um. Absolutely really cool environment. And then the last one I'm going to show is, um, is like the view through an, like an apartment. And so it's like the equivalent of about a hundred inch screen. You know, it's got like a long, you know, sectional sofa. You know, once again, another environment just to hang out and watch shows. Uh, you know, me personally, I like the grand cinema, but, you know, to each his own. So, I highly, highly recommend Big Screen. Uh, it is an amazing app. Uh, it's available as a standalone app through uh, the Oculus Store and through Steam. Uh, if you're running it in standalone, the most people that you can have in a room is four. But if you're running it connected to your PC through... Uh, the Oculus Link, you can host up to 12 people. Um, I, like I said, I can't recommend it enough. Uh, hey, until next time, have a wonderful day.